everyone welcome to vishesh educational videos in this video i'm explaining about the posics environment along with that i'm also explaining about the posics feature test macros i'm concentrating more on posics feature test macros in this video if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends and also to get the notification of my new videos please click the bell icon so let me begin the explanation of posix environment along with the posix feature test macros so although posix was developed on unix a posix compliant system is not necessarily a unix system other than the unix system also uh, some other system can also use a posix standards it's not a rule that only uh, posix standards are used by unix no other some other operating system also can use the posix standards right so if you are using a posix standards right if you are using a posix standards so most of the header files are stored under user bar include directory right so you can refer that right you can refer that uh, header files c and c++ header files using a hash include header file name getting guys if you want to use a posix related header files right in some other uh, operating system that is other than the unix how you can do that please so you can include the statement as include header file name so this header files are stored under the right uh, folder user bar include in include directory this header file names will be there right you can use them by using a statement as include within that header file name right so this is the method that is uh, included if you are using a posix uh, that is adapted in posix but uh, there 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 need not be a physical file of that name existing on a posix confirming system so what i am trying to say is so uh, in a posix it is not a rule that the header should be in the form of a file no right in posix i can call it as a just as a header not a header file right you can create a header component right and you can call it you can call that it's not a rule that you have to create the header file right understanding guys you can create just a right a macro or a small function right for a header so you can use that you can reference that header it is not a rule that you have to create a file for each headers for example in a c programming language stdio header file conio so header file so there uh, in this posix environment instead of creating the file for each uh, headers i can directly call them by uh, creating a small functions or macros hope you are understanding right so now i'm going to explain this feature test macros feature test macros means if that particular feature is supported in that system uh, if that particular feature exists in the system you can use that feature using the using this macros or calling this macros right so what is a posix feature test macros so posix that one standard right so if you want to know more about posix standards the link for that video is in the description so posix.1 defines a set of feature test macros which is defined on a system so what is the meaning of this feature test macros feature test macros means that the system has implemented the corresponding features right you can check whether particular feature is supported in your system or not using this feature test macros for example job control feature right so along with that uh, 
right so so many different different uh, feature test uh, macros are there you can uh, check that so all these macros are defined in uni std.h header you can see there i am not using a word file right you can create the macros and you can refer them so uh, posix.1 defines some features if features are there you can refer them using this uh, feature uh, macros using this macros all these macros are defined in uni std.h header see so what are the different types of feature test macros that are supported right so as i told you job control so posix job control if you want to know whether this uh, feature is supported or not you can use this feature test macros right so posix job control what is the actual task of this uh, feature test macro means if the system contains this feature test macro the system supports the bst style job control right it supports a job control bsd is a one uh, one type of unix standard so that type of job control is supported if you are using this feature test macro you can use this and you can check it whether it is supported or not job control means what job control means so process can do a jobs right so so different different process can do a, a different different jobs i can allocate separate separate job for a separate separate process process is nothing but a program under execution right so job control means sometimes uh, one job has to be deleted or one job has to be created so this you know, managing right is nothing but a job control that is taken care by this macro right next for six saved ids so each process that is running on the system keeps the saved set user id and the set gid uid means user id gid means group id every user can be assigned a separate group id i can assign different different user for different different uh, groups so that they can change its effective user id and group id to those values through set user id and get user id for example you can assign a user id for different different users why i need id because to identify the separate separate users i need a user id right that's why i need a uid along with that i can assign my user to a separate separate groups that's why i need a gid so how you can do that means using a apis set uid and set gid using this i can set a user id for the particular process and also i can set a group id for the particular process api means application programming interface it allows the application to interact right with these functions hope you are understanding guys next posix ch own restricted this is the one type of feature text macro if the value that is defined for this uh, ch own restricted is minus 1 so what user can do means user can change the ownership of the file owned by them so if this uh, macro is defined as minus 1 user can change the ownership of the files user can for example user can uh, give the access to the different user if they want they can change the owner when if the value is minus 1 for this feature test macro otherwise only user with special privilege may change ownership of any file on the system special privilege means only administrator can change the ownership of the uh, particular file on the system if the value is not minus 1 right so uh right uh, always it's a good idea right not to change the value to minus 1 don't do that right so anybody can change the ownership that it's a, it's a problem actually only special privilege person only special privilege uh, person should change the ownership then only your system will be protected that's why right so that is one type of feature test macro next one is posix no trunk so what is this if the value is minus 1 again if the feature test macro posix trunk is minus 1 what happens mean trunk means what truncate it will truncate it will truncate so any long path name passed to an api is silently truncated to 
name and maximum bytes otherwise error is generated uh, in a simple words if a if your path name what is the path name you are going to give path name means you, you know that right slash 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 for example here you can see uh, here the slash user slash include slash bin like that uh, you can uh, specify the path where to find a particular file right uh, that path uh, if it's long that path should be truncated to some right truncated means some uh, some unwanted things will be removed so to name maximum bytes so it will it will have a, the path will have only name along with the maximum bytes that is used for this particular path name right hope you are understanding truncate means your path name will be uh, the path name size will be reduced that is nothing but truncate lastly this is the feature test macro one of the important POSIX feature test macro that is POSIX V disable so if defined value is minus one if you are defining a minus one value for this V disable there is no disabling character for special characters for all terminal device files right you can disable the special characters uh, in C programming you have studied some special char escape characters right so right so if the value is minus one there is no disabling character for special characters you can't disable right you can't disable a special characters if the value is minus one hope you're understanding getting guys so otherwise the value can be otherwise the value is the disabling character value so name only suggests that you can disable the character special effects one key can do two different different tasks it is possible sometimes uh, you can uh, use shift key to use some special effects for example if you uh, press shift plus uh, dot or shift plus bracket the flower brackets will be there uh, will be displayed if you simply uh, press the bracket it will uh, angular brackets will be displayed like that one key can have special special uh, two different types of behaviors so that special behavior can be disabled using this POSIX V disable hope you are understanding guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section right so next uh, I am writing a program to print POSIX defined feature test macros supported on any given system if this feature test macros is uh, there that is supported in a particular system uh, where you are writing a program uh, that is uh, that is displayed as yes this feature is supported otherwise it will be going to display as the feature is not supported for example feature test macro means you are going to take uh, you are going to uh, test whether that particular feature is present in that particular system or not how to do that see so this is the program right i am writing to test whether the particular feature is supported in my system or not so you can see there the POSIX source i explained this uh, right versions about POSIX versions all those details in the uh, while explaining the POSIX standards right so here what is the position standard i am using means uh, 1993099 n along with that i am using a ivo stream dot h ivo stream means input output stream here you are using a c out right so to output to uh, right to print the output you are using a c out right that's why i am uh, using a header for ivo stream dot h along with that i am using a unistt dot h because you know that our feature test macros are present in the unistt dot h header file right that's why i'm uh, uh, writing this header file uh, so you know that the program execution starts from the main so i'm using a if define if define uh, keyword for six job control right so job if job control uh, feature uh, feature is supported it will print system supports job control otherwise it will uh, print system does not support job control hope you are understanding i am defining POSIX job control is like a constant that's why i am defining it right next POSIX saved ids system support saved ids 
otherwise if it is there it will display as system support saved set user id user id saved set group id otherwise system does not support set user id and gid likewise it will print hope you are understanding if defined POSIX saved id next in the same way uh, i can check for all the other feature test macros if it is there it will display it as there otherwise it will display it is not supported return zero means uh, it is a right correct execution of your program if uh, zero is returned the OS will assume that the program uh, executed correctly and it is uh, right and it is returned hope you are understanding right so if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section guys thank you thank you for watching the video